Hi, it's Marian Buck Murray, and I'm back with a third video to help you stay sane during the holiday season. In this video, I'm going to share five tips to help you deal with family triggers. So it doesn't need saying that during the holidays, uh, that's the time when we tend to spend more time with our family members, or perhaps we want to spend time with our family members and we're not able to. And so all of this, no matter what's going on with your family members, uh, tends to bring up some pain, maybe some resentment, some old past hurts. And uh, I'm going to give you some tips to help this all feel a little bit better, or maybe a lot better, okay? Because you know, the thing about families is that they're wonderful, but oftentimes there's a lot of unresolved hurt that, you know, we grow up and we move away uh, or we ignore it. But when we get together or when the holidays come and we begin to think about what happened in our family situations, uh, it really brings up a lot that's sort of festering or, you know, just kind of buried under the surface. And so these techniques will help you relieve some of that pain if you have some pain around your family members. So the first tip is to use Ho'oponopono. So Ho'oponopono is a Hawaiian prayer of sorts, and it is a technique to help release feelings of unforgiveness. Uh, it's not about letting somebody... Uh, or condoning something that somebody has done wrong. It's more about relieving yourself from negative feelings of unforgiveness that, that hurt. Uh, it's about releasing your own hurt around a certain situation. And so the way that this works is that you put your hands on your heart and you say, you bring to mind a particular person or a situation that happened. Bring it to mind and put your hands on your heart and just summon the feeling and then begin to say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. And repeat it over and over. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. And what you're really doing is you're saying to the universe or to your higher source, I'm sorry that, that I've held on to this, that I'm still feeling this way. I'm sorry to myself that I'm still feeling this. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And so that you're facilitating the release of that uncomfortable unforgiveness. Uh, if you want to learn more about Ho'oponopono, there is a lot written about it on the web and there are even books about it. So you can find out more about it. It really is a fascinating technique and very, very helpful. So the second tip is to um, use the heart breath. So the heart breath is a way of breathing where you imagine that you're breathing from your heart. I have a, a video on my website that will show you how to use the heart breath. But basically what it is, is that you, you do take a deep breath down in your belly and then you bring your breath up to your heart and imagine that you're breathing in and out of your heart. And as you breathe in and out of your heart, imagine that your heart is beginning to fill with heart energy. And it begins to radiate into your body and then into the field around you. So before you talk to family members, before you go to any uh, gathering of family members where you feel you might be triggered, do this heart breath and bring, you know, radiate a field of love and bring your family members into this field of love. And remember that this is unconditional love. This is a more, a deeper, more sacred energy of love. Imagine that you're radiating this love to each and every family member that you'll be with and to other family members or other people. 
and stay with this energy for a little while, as long as it feels good, and then come back to yourself and center. By doing this, you facilitate more loving feelings within yourself. And when you see your family members, you're more apt to be feeling that way. And uh, many, many people really believe and sense that by radiating loving energy, the people that it's intended for actually receive it. Okay. So that is tip number two for dealing with family triggers. And tip number three is something that I mentioned in the first uh, video about staying in your energy and disengaging from the drama. So again, uh, family situations tend to be uh, ripe with drama depending upon the type of family that you grew up in. And so it could be that things that happened in the past still aren't resolved. Or, um, or people in your family, siblings, um, or your children tend to sort of revert into old patterns when they get around family. Or perhaps there are political issues that you don't agree upon and that can come up. And so instead of engaging in all of that and, and engaging in the argument or trying to be right or trying to prove yourself, Stay in your own energy and decide before you go what type of energy you want to bring to the situation. So perhaps you want to feel calm and centered. Decide ahead of time, intend to bring that energy to the situation so that you can be more peaceful and, and bring a sense of curiosity and acceptance because there's nothing that you're really going to be able to do at the dinner table to change somebody's mind. And so uh, because it's the holidays, because it's a time that we really want to bring more love and peace, bring that energy yourself and disengage and stay in your own lane, <laughs> your own energy. All right. Tip number four. Uh, for dealing with family tr triggers is to use EFT tapping. So if you are not familiar with EFT tapping, there's a video on my website, marianbuckmurray.com. And in the video, you can learn exactly how to use EFT tapping. And the way that you can use this is before you go. If you feel triggered by a particular person at um, in your family, uh, or you feel triggered by the situation, whatever it is, you can use EFT tapping to bring up the feelings, use the tapping to help them diminish and deactivate the triggers. Uh, if you need help with this, please reach out to me. Um, and the other way that you can use the tapping, again, is at the dinner table, for example, if somebody starts saying something political that you don't agree with and you find that your anger is rising or you're feeling more stressed out or something triggers you, uh, just put your hand under the table and start tapping on the side of your hand between the bottom of the pinky and the start of the wrist, that fleshy part of your hand, while breathing deeply. And this will help to reduce cortisol, the major stress hormone, it will help bring blood back to the thinking part of your brain so that you can think more clearly and speak more clearly. Okay, so tip number five for dealing with family triggers is something that you'll want to do either before you meet with your family uh, or before you speak with them or or you can do it afterwards as well. But it's it's about um, really having compassion for any hurt feelings that you experienced as a child or as a young adult or as an adult um, as a result of something that happened with family members. And, you know, this is really important because oftentimes uh, in accepting our family members, we can kind of, uh, suppress 
some of the hurt feelings. But if we suppress them, they really don't go anywhere. So it, with this technique, you can honor those hurt feelings and help them heal. So the way that you do this is to imagine or just to bring up some of the hurt feelings and, and a few of them. So maybe you got yelled at, maybe your sibling did something to you, maybe a parent hurt you in some way. Bring up some hurt feelings and imagine that they're children and allow these hurt feelings to uh, go outside into the sun. And maybe they're playing on a blanket or something or playing in the grass and allow the sun to shower down on the hurt feelings. And as the sun is reaching them, they begin to feel seen and they begin to feel validated and understood and heard and listened to because that's what we really want. We want our hurt feelings to be comforted and to be loved. And so give your hurt feelings some compassion and love and validation and allow them to bask in the sun, the light of compassionate love. And watch them begin to heal. And try this out before you go to family gatherings. Try this out after a family gathering, when you feel like you've been slighted by someone or hurt by someone, allow those hurt feelings to bask in love and compassion so that they can feel better. If you're on my mailing list, uh, which you can get on my mailing list by visiting my website at marionbuckmurray.com uh, and um, optioning into the heart breath meditation that I have there. If you're on my my um, email list, uh, I will be creating, I am in the midst of creating a Healing Hurt Feelings audio where I will guide you through the meditation to heal the hurt feelings. And so that um, meditation is almost done and it will be out soon. So if you're on my email list, uh, you'll be notified when it's ready. So there are the five tips for dealing with family triggers. Uh, see how they work for you. And I'm wishing you peace and comfort and joy and uh, happiness this holiday season. Goodbye for now.